I had an absolute blast building this thing. What better way to build a partition than to build one with a TV and a raised flower bed to make it awesome. First thing that you're gonna see me do is setting these fence posts. I have an entire uh, video on setting fence posts that I will put in the link below. The span was a little bit long, so you'll only see me setting two fence posts, but I went back and added a third one after the one by sixes were on because it was just a little bit too flimsy. I have to save this lizard here real quick. Now, um, once I got the fence post leveled, all we're gonna do is attach one by sixes about a half inch apart. So you're going to need some exterior screws or some deck screws. We're going to space the boards about a half inch apart, which fun fact is the exact size of a pencil from Home Depot. So we are going to keep them as straight as we can, leveling each one as we go all the way to the top. Let's do it. Frankly, those exterior screws suck. They strip quite a bit and uh, the deck mates with the star bit are way better. I will also put a link to those in the description. But see, you'll see me here just um, straightening out the one by sixes, cutting off any excess by running them down the, uh, the four by four post there. I will add some trim around the side later so those cuts aren't perfect and I'm not really worried about it, but they came out pretty straight. Now that the backdrop is up, let's go ahead and add the TV cabinet. I ended up building two of these entertainment centers or partitions, structures, whatever you want to call them. So you'll see me switch back and forth between one on the right and one on the left, but I did the identical work to both. Right, so if we're building an outdoor TV cabinet, first thing that we're going to need are two pieces of pressure treated plywood that are the exact same size. One is going to serve as the um, as your door and the other is gonna serve as the backing. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. So the first piece of plywood is gonna serve as your backing that the TV is going to mount into. And then you're going to surround it. I just toenailed in uh, two by sixes. And this will give enough space for the depth of the TV as well as the, um, as well as the bracket that it's going to sit on. Now we take the other piece of plywood that is the same size as the other one. We have semi attached the hinges on this side. We're gonna flip it over, create the design and go from there. Now I'm simply laying out the design on top of the plywood. This is gonna be the front hinges on the back and the design is on the front since I want it to match that. We are simply laying out the one by sixes here and then we will cut this door straight down the middle so that uh, it fits perfectly. Now I'll screw down the rest of these hinge screws. You could attach these after the fact or do it like I did. Either one, doesn't matter. Now our goal isn't to make this waterproof, but rather water resistant. So what I've done is I closed the doors and then outlined with chalk where the border or where the header lines up with the door so that I can put another piece of trim all around and then caulk it at the top and that'll help prevent anything that's coming down from up here. Now that we've got the trim on the inside of the door marked out, we can go ahead and caulk all the way up here and across there as to try to prevent as much water coming through here as possible. Since we are outside, I am using this Supreme silicone, which is 100% waterproof, meant for windows and doors, and I was actually quite happy with it. Now, I wasn't planning on using this, but I actually found uh, some window seal. And since it doesn't uh, stick and adhere to the wood, I just put some uh, wood glue on it. But we are going to fix it to the top here to also help prevent any water intrusion coming down. In addition to the uh, roof covering, roof covering over the top of it. All right, so I stuck it to the top here and you can see that still closes but we got a nice tight hopefully watertight seal so we'll have the wood protection on the top the window seal from here 
as well as the silicone in this uh, trim piece here, hopefully preventing as much water as we can getting in. Now that we've got the inside taken care of, I'm going to put some of this peel and stick roofing material over the top to help protect this joint here. This is what it looks like. It's very sticky. All right, so this is on. I had actually put a second layer over here. I don't think I needed to, uh, but just to make sure that it's running down and out the back and not coming this way towards the TV. Next, I hammered down a few shims to give myself a little bit of a pitch. I want to put the final two by four on top that will extend up over the entire cabinet. All right, so now we've got a one by six on top, creating a quote unquote roofing system that is sloped backwards just slightly. And this is the entrance, if you will, to the TV cabinet. So anything driving down should be pretty heavily protected. It's also important to go back and caulk or silicone any type of hole that you have put in the top of this to make sure that no extra water can get in in any way, shape, or form. Also, I did have my electrician run uh, waterproof boxes, and we are gonna fill this with some great stuff as well to make sure no moisture, animals, pests can get in there. And that's it, folks. We still have a little bit of finishing left to do with filling some screw holes as well as some finishing holes. We added the handles to it here. And I still have to stain it. But outside of that, and add a latch. I had one up here, but I didn't like it, so we took it off. So I started making the flower bed here and it's just some two by fours cut to fit out. It's gonna be about one foot deep and about 18 inches long. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more support with some 2x4s running from um, end to end. I've never built a flower bed before so feel free to critique and criticize me all you want. Now we get tons of rain here in Florida, so we have to use pressure treated materials. But in addition to that, we also have to stain the hell out of all of this wood, especially here in the flower box, because it's gonna be retaining so much moisture from soil and the plants being in there. You have to stain it. And I'm gonna do an entirely separate video on staining uh, this wood. So stay tuned for that. Now, since this is the inside of the flower bed, I don't really care about it lining up with the two by fours or looking pretty. So don't knock my craftsmanship here.
All right, we're gonna fill some of these uh, nail holes, but if you've got some dried out plastic wood like this, if you drop a little acetone in it, not a lot, just a dab, mix it around. Revives it, good as new. So from dry and crumbly to actual nice paste that you can work with. We're gonna come back and sand it down, but just kind of getting it in in here at first. Make sure they're nice and filled. And it's always better to leave a little bit excess over the top. So when you sand it down, it'll be nice and flush, but you can always come back to if you notice that one sank a little bit, because sometimes when it dries out, it has a tendency, the wood filler here has a tendency to, to sink. Shoving it in, you can use the putty knife for the finger. Gave up the putty knife. Now I like to come back and just scrape off any of the excess hardened filler. And then what we'll do next, take a wet rag, kind of wipe it down. You can do sandpaper or the rag. Um, the rag's a little more gentle. And then we'll fill some of these a little bit more that have sank. It's hard to see on the video, but some of them have sank back into the wood. So we'll take care of that. Just need to show you my dog real quick. He's so cute. all right there we have it folks i am just about done i didn't do a whole lot of videoing on hanging and mounting the tv it's simply mounting a tv uh we've got it pretty much ready for staining we added the trim around the outside filled our holes so these are uh covered up ready for uh like i said for the staining we've got the flower bed which is ready for flowers. We have sealed the entire interior. Yeah, I mean, uh, Palace, if they can hold on, it's a great point for them. We get the goal initially from Chelsea and Colin Woodrick starting to get some Keep any water from coming out. We've got our roof, a water sealer. We've sealed it along the top. We've got an outdoor TV cover that goes on that. Doors close perfectly. I think it turned out great.